Hello everyone, this is Fairpo. For one 2.2 long video generation, we now have another option. The Comfy UI Paint Long Video Note, created by Hui Hua Xiaozi. This is a powerful note for generating long form videos with consistent motion, global scene coherence, and slow motion correction in one 2.2 based workflows. From its intro page, you can see it has long video continuation, seamlessly continues from the last frame of a previous video segment, and a slow motion fix, global consistency anchor. After endless trying and testing for the past few days, I found it really has simplified the previous long video generation to make it easier to implement. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use it step by step and share some advanced tips with you through a ready-to-use workflow. So make sure you watch the whole video, just not to miss anything. Let's take a look at the workflow first. If you are totally new to ConfUI, please follow this installation guide to install a ConfUI to your local PC first. After the installation style your ConfUI, you will see a panel like this. Just drag the workflow I provided to your ConfUI to open it, like this. Just drag the workflow and release. It will automatically open the workflow for you. If you encounter any missing custom loads error when opening the workflow, click the manager here and then click install missing custom nodes. Confia will install all the missing custom nodes for you. After that, restyle your Confia and refresh this page. On the leftmost side of the workflow is the instructions to download all the model files needed in this workflow. If you haven't downloaded the, all the model files, just follow the instructions here to download all the model files to the specified place, like this one here, the specified place and model download link. After downloading all the model files, press the R key on your keyboard to refresh so you can select the models you just downloaded in this drop-down list. Or if you don't have a powerful GPU to run this workflow locally, you could run it on a cloud computer like this. Like this one here. Also the same, it's just that you don't need to install or set up anything. You just click and run. Also free. I will provide all the related links in the video description below. Now let's go back to the workflow. The key part of this workflow is the paint long video node. Here, let's take a look at the core part first, this node. As you can see, it can take a reference of the previous video clip to make the transition smoother between different clips. And the initial reference image, the first frame of the very first video segment. This one helps to maintain global consistency across different video clips. That is, it will take reference of the first input image you upload here throughout the whole workflow so you have a better consistency in the video generated. The motion frames here is the frames in the previous video clip you want to take into account. The default value is 10, 10 frames to take into account to generate this new video clip. And the motion amplitude here is to fix the slow motion issue in the 1.2.2 model. So with this note, we can improve the consistency, the transition, and the slow motion issue a lot. Not perfect yet from my testing, but still a big improvement. Now let's dive deeper into the details of the workflow. Start from the model section. In the model section, I use the smooth mix 1.2.2 image to video model, uncensored one. This is the best model to generate unlimited content for now. But you can also use other models if you like. For example, the official base model. For the official base model, you need to enable these two speed up LoRa. Since the base model does not include a four step speed up LoRa, not like the smooth mix or the light X2V or the 1.2.2 remix model, they all have a 4-step speed up LoRa baked in it. 
So with those models with a four-step speed up lower, you don't need to enable this group. But for the official base model, you need to enable this one. The speed up group here. If you have Sage Retention and the Triton installed on your local PC, you can enable this. It will speed up the generation process. And below is the user input group. Here you upload the first image you want to generate the video and set up the resolution and the prompts. The motion frames here is corresponding to the one here. This one. Motion frames. This one here. And the motion amplitude is corresponding to this one and this one. They all use the same value. I chained them together so you could adjust them simultaneously. And for the motion frames, as the author suggested in the intro page, keep motion frames small, 3 to 7 unless complex motion is needed. And the set motion amplitude to 1.15 as default. Increase to 1.2 to 1.3 if motion still feels too slow. That's this two value here. And the prompts here. Each prompt is corresponding to the short group on the right. Prompt 1 is for the short one and prompt 2 is for the short two group. So on and so forth. By default, I use six shots. Each shot is a five second length of video clip. If you want fewer shots, just disable the shots you don't want here. Like here. Disable the one you don't want. And link the final video set node after the merge image node in the last shot. Here. Since I disabled this one, so I need to link the merge image node to the final video. For my testing, this is the length you could get a perfect result with just two shots. In the shot one group, I also used the painter I to V node to generate the first video clip. This node is similar to the paint long video node, but without the previous video reference and the initial reference image. After generating the first video clip from the input image here, the start image, reference image, first input image. We pass the video generated from shot 1 to shot 2, and then shot 2 generate a new video based on the one we pass to it. And then we pass the video generated from shot 2 to shot 3, and so on and so forth. Theoretically, we can generate a video of any length. Just copy the last shot group and add a new prompt. But from my testing, you need to try many times to get a perfect result if the shots are more than six. So to make things simple, I just made six shots by default. But only six shots already <laughs> make this workflow looks kind of deterrent for those newcomers. Although they are just repeated groups, this one is exactly the same as this one. Without the help of a subgraph, this is the best way we can manage. The subgraph is so unstable for now. To avoid a compatibility issue, I decided not to use it in this workflow. Actually, the core part of the workflow is this one, two, three, four, five, this five group. Other groups are just optional and additional. If you want to enable it, you could just enable it. If you don't want, you could just use the default five groups here. To generate a video. Here I also added a color match node here for long video generation since I found that if the shots are more than three the color starts to shift. So if you found the color shifted too much in the video generated you can enable this node and link this to the video combined node. And this whole for today's video is quite simple actually this workflow. It looks a bit deterrent and huge but it's quite simple. I hope it can bring you something good at least. If you think this is helpful, please like, share the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. See you.